Good morning guys, so I've been spending the whole morning working on my best man speech. I've been asked to be best man at my brother's wedding, which is a massive honour, huge privilege. Um, really looking forward to that, that's in four or five weeks time. Uh, and one of the obviously joys of doing that is to create a best man speech. So I'm busily trying to work out what to say and what not to say there. So I'm going to share some uh, things that I've learned over the last a uh, few weeks creating that with you guys uh, might be useful, I don't know, I know it's not business related but okay so here's some of the things that I've learned um, you have to speak for under 15 minutes which is a bit of a problem for me as I'm used to speaking for about an hour or two uh, in presentations but we'll get by um, keep stories to a minimum so like no more than one or two uh, so I've gone for three um, what else what have I learnt? Uh, obviously not to be too rude or blue. Um, not really a problem for me. I'm a very pleasant young man who doesn't ever do anything like that, so no issues there. Uh, what else have I learnt? Liz, what have I told you? I don't know how much you can say because you might watch this. No, I know. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, my brother could easily be watching this, so obviously I can't go into much detail well, today on this. Anyone that's at the wedding. Um, yeah, but I'm not going to give away stories. I'm not going to tell them what I'm actually saying, am I? I'm just explaining the process and things that I've learned I don't know, you get in the process of doing this. Get a bit excited. No, we'll be, we'll be, <laughs> be alright. All right. One of the intentions of this vlog is to uh, help you wade through the mountains of rubbish out there on the internet about best man speeches because there's so much bad stuff out there pointing you at the wrong direction I don't want you to fall in I don't want you to fall into those traps Oscar we're gonna get you an outfit for the wedding you want a wedding outfit next is very busy today so many bad jokes out there Got to keep steer clear of them. Try and come up with my own funny material. Not that I'm that funny, but you know, we'll do our best. Yeah, the guy that just recognised me and said hi. If you're watching this, I'm really sorry. I was in a completely different world, and you caught me by surprise. One of the things I really hate doing is uh, shopping. So she's gone to H&M to look for some kind of maternity stuff. I'm going to come out here and look for um, shoes because shoes is far more interesting. Oh, shoes. Which do you prefer, these ones or these ones? Which ones? Which ones should Daddy buy? Which ones? Which ones? These ones or these ones? <laughs> Which ones? I think I've chosen. Sweet, no? Oh my god, how are all of these? Father likes son. Oscar, we've got to get shoes for you now. Do you want shoes? You are a lovely and skinny and for either. You got ones there you like, Oscar? It's pretty fast. Why do you love climbing stairs so much? 
Or is it just that you want to get away from me? Right, I've got to pop into a camera shop to try and find something to clean this this lens. It'd be so weird if someone actually recognised me from the vlog, wouldn't it, earlier on? Is that cool coffee shop that I went to the other day with Ben. Make sure you go there if you're in Exeter. One of the things that people ask me a lot is whether I think feel odd walking along with this in the, uh, in the street. So the honest answer is yes, obviously you feel a bit weird, but actually you get over it pretty easily. And when you see the outcome of what you are creating, um, it kind of, it just all sort of makes up for it really. And you don't care what people think and um, what they might be saying to each other. It just doesn't matter. Pretty excited about trying my new shoes on. In fact, I can't wait. They're so comfortable. I haven't owned a pair of Nike Airs since circa 1991. I need to turn the eye candy into a, a double, apparently. Ooh. Weird acoustics. new shoes because Oscar only just got new two two new pairs. Yeah, three but look pairs. how cool they are. They look like Nikes. Dad is in charge. That is a massive drink. Let's go. Bribery yeah. is the yeah. way forward when Daddy's in charge. Nice sneakers. Nice kicks. We don't do very adult things, we just do silly things. Oscar, what noise does a lion make? Ah. Ah. What about a cat? Ah. Do a fish. <laughs> On a day like this, it's incredible how many batteries you need. I've had to basically take out three batteries today. I'm onto the third one already, and I only feel like I've shot a couple of minutes film. Well, I probably have only got a couple of minutes vlog. Shot probably quite a lot of actual footage but most of that will be edited out so um, always get more batteries than you think you need. We've been an accident with the old Ribena. I think Oscar's gonna be quite quite shy. Literally you can hear that about a mile away. need a security guard. I've never really worked that one out. I understand late at night, but not in the middle of the day, surely. Right, we're going into London Camera Exchange, okay? Here it is. Awesome. Cheers. Thank you very much. No Thanks, guys. Cheers, mate. Nice guys, the London Camera Exchange. Check them out if you need the camera equipment. I can't believe it's only a week till the Olympics. <laughs> that is literally crazy. Love the Olympics. Great time of year. Oscar, if we get these trousers, it'll make Uncle James really mad. Look how fast he goes in those sneakers. Oscar, run. This way. 
Run like the wind. Let's go, let's go. Back in the lift. Fast, he's going. Whoa, I can't even keep up. He's so quick now. My yeah. Oscar's on a lead. <laughs> So I know it's expensive, but the eye candy pram, no endorsement by the way, um, is amazing. It's definitely the best pram. It's so worth the money. You can turn it on a dime and with one hand and vlog all at the same time. So vloggers with babies must get eye candy prams. Watch this. Ready? <laughs> Amazing. I'm rushing ahead a little bit because I think it's going to rain and obviously rain and cameras don't go very well together so I need to get back to the car so I can load this up quickly. Also ridiculously easy to pack up, which makes it very good for us. 